People are asking me what I think about the experimental and the investigational therapies that just might possibly help us turn the tide in the war against the novel coronavirus. The one mentioned by the president yesterday in his press conference is a drug called chloroquine. Chloroquine is not FDA approved to be used for the current novel coronavirus. This means it has not yet been proven to be safe or effective for the disease COVID-19. Chloroquine is used today primarily for malaria, its prevention and treatment. It has ancient roots in the early medicinal plant use of the indigenous people of Peru. Chloroquine is a powerful drug that was first produced in 1934 and since the 1950s has been used for malaria prevention and treatment. It is also used today for rheumatoid arthritis and a few other conditions. Scientific study has shown that it changes the acidity of the cellular environment and may, just may, directly inhibit viral replication. Replication is the, the virus copying itself once inside a cell and then spreading. And this potential effect on viruses is the reason it has been approved by the FDA for urgent clinical trials to see if it does indeed slow the effect and thus the spread of this novel coronavirus. Another drug is remdesivir. It is an antiviral drug similar to the antiviral drug you've heard about, Tamiflu, and it acts directly on viral replication as well, on the self-copying and spread of the virus. While remdesivir was not very effective in our earlier fight against Ebola, Trials are underway in China and elsewhere to determine if this drug will be effective against today's novel coronavirus. We don't know yet. In addition to these two leading candidates, there are a whole host of other promising drugs that are being aggressively developed by the finest minds in medical science in the world. Over 20 drugs, in fact, including the antivirals, antibodies, and cell-based therapies are currently undergoing clinical trials around the world. Some will almost certainly work, but we don't know now which ones it will be, and none are available or FDA approved today. And that brings me to the ultimate preventive agent, and that is a vaccine. It's a year off. One vaccine is in clinical trials as we speak in Washington state, but for the safety assurances needed to give this vaccine to the whole population without concern of serious side effects, we will need at least another 12 to 18 months of trials and quality testing. And that's at breakneck record setting speed. So be assured, away from the spotlight of all our minute to minute news, almost overwhelming news, there are doctors, scientists, nurses, and entrepreneurs led by the private sector, the universities, and pharmaceutical companies around the world who are coming together like they have never in the past to discover and to deliver these agents as soon as humanly possible. Science is important. Science is life-saving. Science will provide therapies and prevention for this novel coronavirus. Please keep your questions coming to this platform and I'll do my best to get the latest, most trusted information to video like this and to my podcast, A Second Opinion. Contact a second opinion podcast.com. That's a second opinion podcast.com.